Step six, that is creating presentable views. Okay, so now in this step, we'll be creating a few images or for you 3D views just to showcase our design. Okay, so let's go to uh, the view tab. So here we have 3D view. So just drop down this, you will see camera. Okay, so camera is used to create perspective views of your building. Okay, to create here the perspective views. So what I'll do, I'll create a perspective view to showcase my uh, equipments, like some equipments we have outside the building. Okay, so I'll be creating one uh, perspective view for my uh, for my outdoor equipments, then for uh, the conference area. Okay, and few more like for toilets or for reception. So for these areas, we can uh, create uh, these uh, camera views. Okay, and there are a few settings that you have to keep in mind. The same that I'll be doing, you can also apply the, those same settings. Okay, so let's uh, let me close this and I'll select camera. So once you select the camera, there is an offset. Okay, so offset uh, is what the height of your camera. Okay, the height of your camera at which from which at what level you want to see the view. Okay, so by default, it is 1750. Okay, the eye, you can say the eye elevation. Okay, so uh, that by default is 1750 and you can select the level at what level you want to place. So from level zero, because the person will be standing at ground level, right? Wh whoever watches from here will be at the ground level. So let's select L0 and let's select this 1750 as the elevation of my camera. And I will once click over here okay so once you click over here there will be three lines coming out of this camera which will be capturing your view okay so i will uh like i want to show this uh up to this area so i'll drag it somewhere up to here and somewhere what wherever you can uh click okay so once you click okay it will directly uh, jump to it will directly create your camera perspective view okay this is your perspective view Okay, so now once you once you go to the once you go to your view, let me close this, close this, and close this. So once you go to the view, you cannot see the camera, right? You you are not able to adjust the camera. So let me make this tile window. Now it's perfect. So uh, now the camera is not visible why because uh, by default it's turned off when it is not selected so to visible that select this and when you select this the camera is visible now so you can set the focal length that this uh, you can adjust whatever you want okay from from here again i'll select this and i'll make this again i'll select here is the point we have okay so i'll drag this up to somewhere somewhere over here okay so these these things you can add also you can adjust this from here but i i would not suggest to adjust this crop view okay so um, that's not a good practice so um that is one thing that you can adjust so once you select the camera once you're in the camera view uh, and you can drop down there is two things one is the eye elevation that is the offset which we have set and one is the target elevation you want to see downside or top side let's say if i make it uh, and just focus this one i'll change this when you select this let's say 5000 so it will turn up right like it is watching top side and let me make it zero okay now it is watching down okay so if you see the elevation like this is your eye so this is your uh offset elevation okay and where you are watching is it, is it down is it in front or is it in top so this is your target elevation this elevation is your target elevation okay so now in now in my case i'm setting the target elevation the target elevation same as the eye elevation okay okay that's fine okay now, uh, next thing, what you can do now, I'll just jump directly to my view, which I want to see. Okay, so here 
you can uh, what you can do you can directly manually apply the settings whatever you want or what you can do we have previously created a view template right so either you can apply that template as well so that you can you don't have to do the settings again and again it will take the settings from there okay so you have this view and this view uh, will be saved somewhere somewhere over your uh, coordination right now here 3d view one okay 3d view one so i will name this as exterior what is exterior outdoor or i'll say exterior view Mm. Hmm. Okay, fine. So, uh, exterior view. Just one minute. Okay. Okay, fine. So that is what the one thing that you can do. And now, once you have uh, done all of this, um, the best thing about the view template is once you have applied the view template, you can remove it. You can remove it if you want to do any any further changes, but that, that the properties that you have in this template will remain as it is. That, that is one of the best thing in view template. That is, the properties retain whatever uh, the last time the last view template was applied. Okay, so you uh, the set the things these settings we already get from the previous view template which we have applied, and uh, now what you can do you can make it fine or uh, i would uh, let's say i'll make it this hidden okay so hidden line i'll just uh, drag this up okay now it's okay then or you can make them consistent colors okay so there are different uh, like realistic realistic view <laughs> as per uh, your need you can change them okay so uh, i'll make that hidden let's say for example and uh, the shadows are on these these are for the shadows okay so if you turn now turn them off the shadows will turn off okay so let's make it on there is one more thing like when you are doing the shading okay so there are some lines over here right there you can see some lines right the edges i would say edges so if you want to turn off the edges you can directly go to the graphic display options here we have an option show edges okay turn this off and go to the shadows make sure these these two are turned on click okay so it will turn off your edges okay so or else um better when you when you are hidden and the best is you can make them turned on by default when you are making it hidden it will be turned off okay so that's one thing and the next very important thing about um about your uh, camera view is focal length okay you can set the focal length uh, focal length is just the uh, how how zoom you want to see and how far you want to see okay so to adjust the focal length just i'll turn this wheel right here right click here we have an option increase decrease focal length increase decrease focal length so once you click on this as you go you want to go far directly it will go or zoom you will if you want to zoom you will it will zoom for you okay and this is one thing second thing is second thing is you can also uh you can also orbit inside your camera view okay but that that is not a good practice because it will uh, mess up your view but you can just an option i'm telling you can orbit in your 3d view uh in, in your camera views okay so to orbit what you can do is just simply click and orbit somewhere over here okay like this just simply what you have to do is uh, hold the shift key and click on the scroll button so like this you can orbit your 3d views okay let me control z that and it's okay that's fine let me make it this hidden 
okay i'll crop this up to up to my view wherever i need and these lines are for your levels these lines are for your levels so that you can what you can do you can hide them you can go to the visibility graphics and annotations and your levels okay so from here you can hide this okay now those are hidden so like the same we will be creating for uh, for different areas as well